I chose Medical University of Gdańsk because at that time um, university was um, placed high at the national rankings and uh, of course because Gdańsk is very attractive for young uh, people. It's a modern city mixed with a beautiful nature. If you want to slow down, you don't have to leave the city. You just get the bike and in 10 minutes you can go for a walk at the beach. I live in Vrzesz, it's one of the districts of uh, Gdańsk, mainly because it's uh, very well located. What I like the most about being a scientist are all the opportunities I have. I can attend um, international conferences and meet scientists from all over the world, share our experience, uh, exchange ideas. This is what motivates me the most. What I also like about being a scientist is that I'm an academic teacher. Not that long ago I was a student as well, so I totally understand uh, students' expectations. When I was um, after second year, which was pretty tough, uh, I started searching for some kind of activity or hobby which would help me um, stay calm. And that's how I started uh, drawing. I also created a profile on Instagram where I share my experience, both medical and scientific. I just want to encourage other students to get involved in either student activities or some research projects because I think that they should uh, make the most of their studies because Medical University of Gdańsk has a lot to offer. My research journey started rather typically. As a medical student I joined the Dermatology Scientific Circle and uh, also uh, at that time I met my mentor Professor Violetta Barańska-Rybak. Magdalena Antoszewska is especially interested in chronic wounds. Uh, she has been doing a lot of different research projects at our de department she, since she started to be a member of our uh, Scientific Society for Students. Now she has a great project with Finland and it will be a subject of her, of her PhD thesis. As a PhD student, I conduct a research project together with uh, Dr. Piotr Spechalski. It's interdisciplinary and also international collaboration. Recently she has developed uh, new contacts from Finland and thanks to that we have started a study uh, which analyzes bioimpedance on uh, measurement of bioimpedance in uh, chronic wounds. We are going uh, to measure bioimpedance in the process of wound healing and then um, do the correlation analysis between bioimpedance changes and changes of the surface of uh, wounds. Our study group is consisted mainly of patients uh, with uh, chronic venous insufficiency and uh, it's a major uh, problem and uh, very challenging nowadays. So we, um, we just um, hope that in the future our research um, would be uh, helpful and meaningful for the society. It's also very in, uh, innovative because in our research we use uh, mainly mobile applications both for measurement of the surface and um, measurement of uh, bioimpedance. Many people are talented and gifted and that, that's not her main uh, strong suit I guess. She's very persistent and uh, determined and motivated and this is something that will get her far. I'm I'm sure she will achieve what she uh, has planned. She works very hard. Uh, now she works uh, at the ER department. She, she still didn't open specialization in dermatology and mineralogy because it's very hard, but I'm sure she will succeed with this. I will help her as much as I can.